big track on that guy. Wolf came down my trail over towards the house. Then he went down this way towards the neighbors. And the coyote came down my fence line this way over to where I'm, where I cut firewood. And there's a lynx over there. And I'll kill one of my chickens this morning. And he dragged him up and underneath the, the horse trailer. Dog went in and got him. That the head took off him. Part of the breast eat. Yeah. <laughs> Shaved off my mustache. Third time in my whole life. Probably be the last time. Just over cruising some timber for days off. Bit of snow, not much. Just enough to make her white. Just draw it out an axe handle. Found a piece of birch with a fairly good green. As you can't even see it on there. Can't see it there either with the kerf. You can see it there. It's not uh, perfect, but at least it's up and down. It's curved some because it's a, a slab piece, so it's on the outer edge. So I just draw that out off of my old axe handle. For your hard shape. That was probably hickory handle or hash. Probably ash. I think they make a lot of axe handles out of ash. This is white birch. It'll do just fine. Okay, I'm going to put a podcast on so I won't be doing any video. I'm just going to start shaping the edges now with my spoke shave. Spoke shave. Lee Valley one. Might need a touch up. We'll see. I got another one here to do. Holtz Brooks. Two and a half pound. I think I got this from a guy moving. I can't see the heat trees in it right to there. Should be a good little cutting axe. This one has been too. It's been a good. Can you guess what I use for a wedge? What tree? What type of tree? This is white birch. That's all I had. Got some pretty tough not to get run out. See right there. It's not very much. It looks bigger on video, but it's only just that might chip off. So it'll be alright. Better than no handle. Just gave the Holtz Brooks a handle. Took about the same time. Four hours. Time you keep whittling away at the, the health there to try to get that handle in there. This one's a little thicker. This one I had lots of room on because I wanted a bit longer. This one I wanted to shorten up some because it's a little lighter, lighter axe. So, you know, it's not the best green. But it's up and down, pretty much. They'll work. They'll last. Yeah, work in the morning. <laughs> Just got a call. Dead deer. More wolf bait coming up. I haven't started baiting yet, but hopefully uh, get something going here. 
shortly. Who's the princess now? Just took my snares out. I had them in simmering and baking soda. So now I'm just waxing traps. I got one put in there. Just waiting for them to warm up in the pot. Just gotta wait till you can't see the wax on the trap anymore. Then you know the trap same temperatures, uh, the water, the water and wax. I got four blocks of wax in there, so it's about that much wax on top of the water. Melting off the wax comes up like a drop up to the surface. Enough for a set. If there's any uh, globs under, just give them a knock into the other trap when I take them out to set before I take them out of the box so I'm not getting any dirty wax out. Well, there's color on it compared to the snow, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, got my lure ready, my trap bags ready, so I think I'm on schedule. <laughs> stop here on my way up have a little look around looks like 
two otters went down there, or one went down and came back. You see these trail splits up on the other side of the bridge here. Usually always attract something around here. The wolves usually come here and make a pee post here. This is uh, another trap line. Guy traps on it here. Wolves ran here last night. Chase moose around. Bunch of tracks right there. So I'm gonna go look for a place to drop a bait just to keep them around until I get time off to come back and do some setting. I shot one here before at the same spot. Looks like the bags are there. <laughs> Fair bit of moose sign. Fair bit of wolf sign. <laughs> See a couple fresh moose tracks, but the wolves are all around there. So just gotta find a spot now to uh, go put a bait that's good to set snares and whatnot. Might not get it right in the right spot right now, but at least I can, they'll come back there or whatever. Get their attention. Until I can get back out here. He's been bugging me to put the window down back there, but once I lower the window, it won't go back up. Some wolf tracks. Just going off sniffing when they're going down the road and they go off sniff 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 and they're just looking for them looking for mr. moose so there's a I don't know how many is there I couldn't tell the tracks are ran in and stuff so there's four or more for sure. Probably somebody's seen eight up here, so they might be split up. Who knows? You gotta look between the cracks. They killed a calf here. Don't you touch. I seen a bunch of tracks coming up on the road, so I came in here for a look. This would be a good spot. Yeah. I'll dump one here. I might have to move it later. I made it to the cabin. Beautiful evening, but I'm in a rush because I'm going to go set that calf kill up. Mr. Fox has been here a couple times. He's right on his nose. So I'm just going to grab my snares. Because there's not enough snow to set traps. Not out here anyway. At my house. There's lots but This uh, site is hardly ever any falls. It all stays up on the trees right at the cabin. So uh, I'm going to open up the door. And grab my snares and head back. I'm going to stay tonight, I think. My truck won't be ready, ready for work until about 10, so I can get up and go home in the morning. That'll give me more time to get some snares out. Nice. Snares. Next time I come back, Hopefully there's wolves there. I didn't video anything. Setting snares, I got gloves on. I ain't taking stuff off and get in, get out. I made more disturbance than I wanted to make as it was, because I had to tie off of spruce trees and time you get the hanging wire and your snare under, you got all the snow knocked off. And I had to hang some hanging wire on the limbs, which I don't like doing on spruce because the, uh, 
when the snow gets on them, they hang down. Make them hang down more and your snares get lower. But you gotta make a play. You find it, I could have just went on home, but missed your chance, right? So when opportunity knocks, you take it. Yeah, she's pretty, not too pretty bad. Well, I got ice on my sleeves. Some fun. Snares, I tell you, I get frustrated with snares. I, I'm starting to hate them more every day, but they're quiet. You know, if you get one in back there, it's not like a trap and chain clanging around, so you might get a chance to get a couple more instead of them spooking, so. But there's always a chance to chew out and so we'll see we'll see the old truck needs a new seat just like myself i set what i had in the bucket anyway 19 or 20. some i made trails but i know they they would go there if just if they don't see the snares Road's pretty rough, not plowed. Not sure if I'm gonna stay at camp or go home. Probably just load up. We gotta work in the morning, but not till later, later, because I gotta wait for my truck, like I said.